It was raining outside, and the man who entered the hotel was surprised to find that he did not have a reservation. It was his first trip to Europe. He wanted to see the sights, meet his friends and, of course, experience the feeling of love. He tried to negotiate with the hotel administrator to give him at least a bed, but it was no use because of the language barrier. They did not understand each other, the administrator said that all the rooms were occupied and left. At this point, Cha Wu Jin sat down on the floor and was lost in dark thoughts. His phone was dead, he had no place to sleep, but then someone walked in, his first unrequited love, Kang Shin Hyok. Cha Wu Jin began to remember how they met at the university, but his thoughts were interrupted by his old friend who did not want to help him, but asked Cha Wu Jin to move over so that he could pass. Kang Shin Hyok was already at the elevator when Cha Wu Jin's suitcase fell apart. Without thinking twice, he decided to ask them to stay in his room for just one night. When he entered the room, he was surprised to see how big it was and didn't notice Kang Shin Hyok telling him to take a shower because Cha Wu Jin was all wet from the rain. When he got out of the shower, he was surprised to see Kang Shin Hyok taking off his clothes but he just said that he was going to take a shower too. Cha Wu Jin looked at the bed and realized that they couldn't sleep together and started to lie down on the floor even though he was cold. But he didn't show it. Kang Shin Hyok came out of the shower and lay down on the bed and they fell asleep. Wu Jin woke up in bed and was told by his friend that he had climbed into his bed during the night because he felt cold on the floor. Kang Shin Hyok asked for the phone and started to call someone. And from the phone conversation it was clear that he had been robbed. His phone... Money and all his bank cards were stolen. Then the phone call is cut off and Kang Shin Hyok asks Cha Wu Jin for help. He learns that he is going to Barcelona and asks him to take him with him. In return he offers to stay in this room as long as Cha Wu Jin wants. They are walking around Barcelona looking at the sights when Kang Shin Hyok suddenly offers to take a picture of Cha Wu Jin. Who, although he doesn't like to be photographed, kindly agrees and then, out of embarrassment, offers to take a picture of Kang Shin Hyok himself when he notices how many girls have gathered around him. Kang Shin Hyok starts to ask Cha Wu Jin to go for a walk with him and the girls, but Cha Wu Jin refuses, gives him his credit card, and sadly says goodbye to him. While walking, Cha Wu Jin was thinking about the situation when he suddenly stumbled over a guy who smiled and winked at him. After getting rid of all his stupid thoughts, Cha Wu Jin went to a bar to have a drink. Meanwhile, Kang Shin Hyok was walking around Barcelona at night, wondering why Cha Wu Jin didn't go with him, when he heard someone shouting in Korean in the alley. When Kang Shin Hyok saw a guy harassing Cha Wu Jin, he had only one thought, to help him, but he shyly punched the guy in the stomach to make it clear that he didn't need help. Soon after, he heard someone around the corner say that Cha Wu Jin was gay. Kang Shin Hyok thought that he shouldn't have heard that when he saw a drunken Cha Wu Jin stumbling over a rock on the street. Waking up in bed with a huge lump on his forehead, Cha Wu Jin suddenly began to remember the events of the previous night. Kang Shin Hyok enters the room and Cha Wu Jin suddenly remembers what the drunk said to him. He immediately starts to apologize and make excuses, but Kang Shin Hyok convinces him that everything is fine and that his attitude towards him hasn't changed and that he is okay with gay people. During breakfast, they talk and Kang Shin Hyok tells Cha Wu Jin that he recently broke up with his girlfriend so he does not want to be alone, and they agree to spend the day together. They made all the arrangements and went out for the whole day. They went shopping, saw other incredible sights, watched a movie at the theater, and had fun. Both Yi Wu and Cha Wu Jin thought about how good their time together was. Walking through the city at night, they came to a beautiful viewpoint and admired the beauty, they heard strange sounds. They turned around and saw the boys kissing. Cha Wu Jin was immediately embarrassed and blushed, and Kang Shin Hik thought in his head how cute he was. It's the third day of their trip, but today they were going to part ways, and Cha Wu Jin thought it was for the best because Kang Shin Hyok has no idea what his friend likes. When they got on the bus, they met some rude guys who started insulting them because they were Asian. Cha Wu Jin tried to stand up for himself, and he seemed to succeed. Sitting down in their seats, the guys went on their way. After sharing the headphones, the two boys fell into a sweet world of dreams, and Kang Shin Hyok wondered why Cha Wu Jin was so nice to him. Could he really like him? He pushed these thoughts aside and fell asleep. When he woke up to the strange smell of Cha Wu Jin, he suddenly felt a weight on his shoulder, and when he woke up completely, he noticed how sweetly Kang Shin Hyok was sleeping on his shoulder. Suddenly there was a noise on the bus and the boys did not understand what was happening. They were told to get off the bus with their belongings because it had broken down and would not continue. Surprised, the boys found themselves at a train station in a strange village. Ki Wu Jin began to think about what to do in this situation and suggested that his friend find a hotel nearby since it was still night. 
but Kang Shin Hyuk suggested that they spend the night at the station since he had a sleeping bag for two. Suddenly, the guys who had been harassing them on the bus came running out from around the corner and threw a bottle of milk at Cha Woo Jin, and Cha Woo Jin angrily began to chase after them. But to no avail, the villains got into the car and disappeared. When he found himself upside down in the cold milk, he noticed that the backpack he had on his back was completely soaked. Kang Shin Hyuk gently put a towel over his head and said that he would lend him his clothes so that his friend wouldn't have to walk around wet and cold. Cha Woo Jin went to the bathroom to change his clothes and wash his hair. When he came out, he saw that Kang Shin Hyuk had already put on his sleeping bag and was getting ready for bed. As they lay down next to each other, they accidentally bumped into each other and Cha Woo Jin felt very uncomfortable and turned away. He started to apologize to Kang Shin Hyuk for making him feel uncomfortable during their time together. After talking about it, Kang Shin Hyuk said that he had fun with him. Finally reaching Barcelona, they breathed out a sigh of relief, waiting for Hai and Kang Shin Hyuk to arrive. They talked about money and agreed to meet at the university, and on such a good note, no longer acquaintances, but friends, they said goodbye. Cha Wu Jin walked through the station alone and reflected on the pleasant meeting, wondering if it was all just a pleasant dream. On the other side of the window, the trees and the beautiful city are passing by, and Kang Shin Hyuk doesn't even notice his older brother cursing at him. He's only thinking about the moments he spent with Cha Wu Jin and wondering what he'll do now that he's alone. As he admires the beauty of the city again, Cha Wu Jin inadvertently thinks about how Kang Shin Hyuk will ask him to take pictures or buy some unnecessary stuff in the store again. But these thoughts make him feel so light and a smile appears on his face, but he pushes the unnecessary thoughts away and decides to just forget about it. When he heard a familiar voice among the cafes and the stalls with appetizing food, he saw Kang Shin Hyuk being cheated out of a tip, and he was not going to contradict the impudent salesman. Unable to stand the injustice, he naturally went to help his friend. Having rescued him from such an unpleasant situation, he immediately said goodbye and wished him an interesting trip. As he walked quickly, he noticed that Kang Shin Hyuk was still following him with a sweet smile, and a calm face. Unable to understand anything, Cha Wu Jin turned around and asked him why he was following him. Kang Shin Hyuk began to complain about his brother for leaving him alone because he had ruined his plans at work, and asked tactlessly if Cha Wu Jin had enjoyed his dirty fun. Ashamed, Cha Wu Jin began to talk nonsense and make excuses, and wanted to leave as soon as possible. But Kang Shin Hyuk interrupted his farewell with an offer to do all the dirty fun with him. Once inside the bar, they drank and enjoyed the pleasant atmosphere and alcohol, and Kang Shin Hyuk broke the silence by telling him how much fun he had with him and how happy he was to see him again. After getting up from the table and feeling drunk, Cha Wu Jin started to go to his room, but Kang Shin Hyuk stopped him and hinted that the fun was just beginning, and together they entered the club where the lights were twinkling and glowing, disco balls were hanging, and the place was full of people. Kang Shin Hyuk sat Choi Woo Jin down at the bar and gave him a bottle of alcohol, not noticing that a girl had already approached him and waved to his stunned friend. He and the lady disappeared into the crowd. Lost in his lascivious thoughts, Cha Woo Jin regretted lying to his friend about his lifestyle because it was the first time he was in a place like this, full of unknown and strange people, which made Cha Woo Jin feel uncomfortable. But he pulled himself together and decided not to waste the opportunity and headed to the dance floor. Kang Shin Hyuk wondered what Cha Woo Jin was doing on the dance floor, but when he turned around, he lost him in the crowd and ran around the club looking for him, worried about what had happened. While trying to catch up with Cha Woo Jin in the crowd, he saw a dealer offering him illegal substances and started to worry about his friend. He wanted to rush to his aid as soon as possible, but the suspicious man started to yell at him and chased him away. Kang Shin Hyuk was amused by the situation and began to laugh, thinking to himself, does this guy really have a bunch of friends in different countries? Without understanding anything that was said, Cha Wu Jin realized that he had drunk too much when someone pushed him and he fell right into Kang Shin Hyuk's arms. Suddenly, a bright light came on and everyone around him started shouting that it was time to kiss, and he didn't understand. But still in Kang Shin Hyuk's arms, he asked what it meant. When Kang Shin Hyuk translated what it meant from English, he just thought about how cute Cha Wu Jin was and decided to act Sitting at the coffee shop, they talked about the situation that happened last night and Kang Shin Hyuk was shocked that it was Cha Wu Jin's first time. Kang Shin Hyuk started to apologize for what had happened, but Cha Wu Jin just kept repeating that it was him who had been drinking so much that he let it happen, and he started to cry again, asking why Kang Shin Hyuk had decided to do this to him. Kang Shin Hyuk just said that he just thought it would be fun. They were drunk and it didn't really matter to him. 
Cha Wu Jin was a little confused by what he heard but still said to just forget about what happened that night, and agreed. Kang Shin Hyok left the table wishing him a good time abroad but in his mind he would like to do it again. And so Cha Wu Jin's trip to Europe ended, and he arrived at the university full of regrets and deep in sad thoughts when he suddenly met his friend from college, Ol Hyun. The sadness in his eyes disappeared for a moment. But as soon as Ol Hyun asked him how his trip went, a smile immediately fell from his face, and his friend wondered what could have happened, to which Cha Wu Jin directly replied that he had slept with a guy during the trip. While talking to Ol Hang about the details of the incident, he suddenly noticed Kang Shin Hyok coming out of the building. And he was not alone, a girl was walking next to him, not wanting to meet Cha Wu Jin. He immediately hid in the bushes, confused Ol Hang did not understand what happened. They seemed to be from his club, why was he hiding from them? When it came to that radio club, Cha Wu Jin stuttered that he was going to quit the club, and his friend was surprised that he had tried so hard to get there. But Cha Wu Jin did not want to tell him why he made such a sudden decision. And then Ol Hyun suddenly remembers that they have a new dorm room and that Cha Wu Jin should see where his new room is and especially who his new neighbor is. Cha Wu Jin went to his new room with his things and immediately lay down on the bed, and thinking about who his new neighbor would be. He looked forward to this moment with great interest, and was determined to make friends with him. Someone knocked on the door and an impatient Cha Wu Jin ran to meet his new neighbor, but it was a man with a package who had delivered the package. There were many boxes. The delivery man was asking him to sign the papers about the package when he suddenly said the name of the recipient, and it was Kang Sinhe. Cha Wu Jin was speechless and asked him to repeat the name again. The answer was the same and the man left after saying goodbye. After checking all the boxes again and making sure that his neighbor was indeed Kang Shin Hyok, Cha Wu Jin thought it was impossible when he heard the doorknob turn, which meant only one thing, the new neighbor was already there. Kang Shin Hyok entered the room, there was a pile of boxes on the floor, but he didn't see anyone. As he walked a little further and looked around the new room, he heard someone rush past him and jump out of the room. Was it really Cha Wu Jin? Sitting quietly under the table, Cha Wu Jin took the opportunity to rush past his new roommate in a panic to tell his friend what a terrible situation had happened. While walking with the phone in his hand, Ul Hyung suddenly touched something on the floor, and when he looked down, he saw Cha Wu Jin crouched on the door of the room, sobbing and asking to stay with him for the night. Upon entering his friend's room, Cha Wu Jin immediately began to tell him that his roommate was the guy from the radio club that he had slept with in Europe. Ol Hyun started to tell Cha Wu Jin that he couldn't hide forever and that they would have to meet someday. But the upset Cha Wu Jin convinced him that he would only stay for one night. Meanwhile, Kang Shin Hyok was lying in bed, wondering why Cha Wu Jin was still avoiding him and why he hadn't gone back to sleep for the night. He closed his eyes and saw the picture in front of him and thought about how annoying it was. When he opened his eyes to the sunlight, he noticed that Cha Wu Jin's things were gone. Had he snuck out while he was sleeping or had he gone through the window? He stopped torturing himself with silly thoughts, looked in the mirror, saw that something was wrong with his face, and started to wash his face, thinking that Cha Wu Jin would not go anywhere and would return soon. However, Cha Wu Jin was much more stubborn and agile and managed to run away from Kang Shin Hyok for a whole week. And Kang Shin Hyok was tormented by the thought of why his neighbor would do such a thing and go so far. Soon, Kang Shin Hyok had to do the institute news with his partner, but his mind was still on his neighbor, when suddenly a girl said that someone from the group had left a cup behind Kang Shin Hyok was already scared, thinking that it might be Cha Wu Jin but the girl said that it was one of the producers from that Kang Shin Hyok immediately exhaled, and suddenly the thought of how to find his clever neighbor flashed through his mind. While eating lunch in the university cafeteria, Cha Wu Jin complained that he couldn't run like this anymore, to which his friend Ol Hyun just said that he should pretend that nothing had happened or that Cha Wu Jin really had feelings for Kang Shin Hyok, to which a blushing Cha Wu Jin just shook his head in the negative. Suddenly, Ol Hyun sees him hiding behind his jacket. He turns around to see Kang Shin Hyok looking at him and telling his friend that he's not chasing him. At the same second he sees Kang Shin Hyok walking towards them. Cha Wu Jin immediately started running and Kang Shin Hyok quickly ran after him. Maybe he's really being chased now. Running outside, Cha Wu Jin noticed some bushes and decided to hide there and started to express his dissatisfaction loudly when he suddenly heard Kang Shin Hyok's voice behind him. Kang Shin Hyok asked him with a smile on his face why he was avoiding him. 
and Cha Wu Jin said in horror that their schedules simply did not coincide and that was the problem, and that he was not avoiding anyone, and Kang Shin Hyuk happily told him that they were now working on a program together. Sadly, Cha Wu Jin looked at Kang Shin Hyuk with a blank look in his eyes and asked him why he was doing this to him, and Kang Shin Hyuk replied that he just hated being alone and asked him why losing his virginity was so important to Cha Wu Jin since Kang Shin Hyuk himself couldn't even remember who he lost his virginity to. As Kang Sin Hek continued to talk about this, he held Choi Woo Jin's windbreaker and suggested that he stop avoiding him because he really hates being alone. Inside the room, Cha Wu Jin reiterated that what happened on the trip would never happen again and agreed that he wanted to be friends. So Kang Shin Hyuk gave Cha Wu Jin a takeout menu. But then Cha Wu Jin suddenly brought up the topic of loneliness again and wondered why Kang Shin Hyuk hated him so much. And then Kang Sin He began to tell the story that he was always alone in his childhood and got used to it. But later, before going to Korea, he moved to his grandmother's house and lived with her for a year. Kang Shin Hyuk's grandmother was sick and there was no one to take care of her. And after that Kang Shin Hyuk began to hate being alone because his grandmother died. When Cha Wu Jin realized that he had asked an inappropriate question, he immediately started to apologize, but Kang Shin Hyok ignored him and continued to say that he had always lived with his girlfriends before, but they had always left him and kicked him out. Kang Shin Hyok asked how Choi Woo Jin knew that he had lived abroad, to which Choi Woo Jin rolled his eyes and replied that everyone knew. As Choi Woo Jin lay down on the bed, he started to apologize again for everything, for remembering what happened on the trip, for avoiding Kang Shin Hyok, and for bringing up the sore subject during the conversation. Kang Shin Hyok smiled and said that he was glad that his roommate had finally returned, and they shook hands and went to bed. Awakened by the annoying sound of the alarm clock, Cha Wu Jin, who had not slept well, was about to turn it off when his eyes fell on a sleepy Kang Shin Hyok who had just woken up. When Cha Wu Jin asked Kang Shin Hyok why he woke up so early, Kang Shin Hyok replied that he woke up to Cha Wu Jin's alarm clock and apologized to himself, but he still thought that the comparison with Kang Shin Hyok's future neighbor was perfect. After they ate breakfast together, they went to the lecture, and thinking about how great everything was, Cha Wu Jin wondered why they were together all the time. When he asked Kang Shin Hyok why they were in the same class with him, he smiled and said that they had enrolled in the class together and that the teacher gave them A's for no reason. While on the soccer field and warming up with his friend Ul Hyun, they started a dialogue about Kang Shin Hyok. Ol Hyun said that they were already like best friends and started to brush it off, saying that it wasn't true, with Choi's puppy dog eyes. Still Ol Hyun, Wu Hyun started to tell Cha Wu Jin that if he didn't like Kang Shin Hyok, he should stay away from him. So Cha Wu Jin told him a story about Kang Shin Hyok's best friend going to America, and since Kang Shin Hyok hated being alone, he couldn't leave him alone. Ol Hyun asked Choi Woo Jin to stop making a big deal out of it because Kang Shin Hyok is from America and it's not like this one night means anything to him. While talking to his close friends over lunch, Kang Shin Hyok suddenly decided to announce that he had a girlfriend, and the boyfriend and girlfriend immediately thought it was Kang Shin Hyok's new girlfriend and were not even surprised and did not interrupt their lunch. After saying that it was just a friend and ending the boys' guessing game, he said that it was a very good friend of his with whom they were now sharing a room. The excited friends did not believe that Kang Shin Hyok could have just one friend, and after speculating that Kang Shin Hyok was just sad and lonely while his friend was away in America, the boys looked up from their food and gadgets to watch him. There's some truth in that, Kang Shin Hyok thought to himself, but they really had become very close, and his worried friend suddenly asked if that was why he was looking for new friends, just to avoid being lonely. Is he just using Choi Wu Jin to avoid being lonely until he finds a new girlfriend? The friend suggested, remembering the situation from his freshman year because he did the same thing to him before. A friend bluntly tells Kang Shin Hyuk to stop clinging to a guy and using him for his own gain, saying that Kang Shin Hyuk clings to people like a leech and then dumps them without thinking about the pain he causes. The girl said that he shouldn't treat people like that, but Kang Shin Hyuk had other things on his mind. He saw Choi Wu Jin and waved at him. He thought how funny he was. Kang Shin Hyuk thought about this and wondered why he hadn't noticed how caring Choi Woo Jin was when they worked together at the studio, and why he was shy at work and Kang Shin Hyuk didn't pay attention to him. Why did he only notice how funny Cha Woo Jin was now? After saying goodbye to his friends, he ran up to Cha Woo Jin, put his arms around him and asked if they would go to the meeting together, and out of embarrassment, Cha Woo Jin pushed him away and said that he was not going to the meeting yet, but Kang Shin Hyuk would wait for him. 
feeling uncomfortable with Ol Hyun standing next to him, he left the boys. When Cha Woo Jin asked Kang Shin Hyuk if he really wanted to wait for him, and Kang Shin Hyuk couldn't say no, they went for a walk together. And Kang Shin Hyuk thought again about how reliable Cha Woo Jin is, and even if he doesn't want to, he still agrees. When they arrived at the studio, everyone was surprised to see Kang Shin Hyuk and Cha Woo Jin together, but Kang Shin Hyuk preemptively introduced his new neighbor to the guys. One of the boys in the group suddenly said that Cha Woo Jin had finally gotten over being Kang Shin Hyuk's fanboy, and Kang Shin Hyuk asked him again what he meant, and he said that Cha Woo Jin used to chase Kang Shin Hyuk all the time, which was hard to miss. As Cha Woo Jin felt uncomfortable listening to this, he wanted to sit down, but Kang Shin Hyuk invited him to sit next to him. With a smile on his face, Kang Shin Hyuk asked if Cha Woo Jin was really following him, but Cha Woo Jin said that he was lying. When the meeting started, the boys had completely different thoughts. For example, Cha Woo Jin thought that he was really a fan of Kang Shin Hyuk and treated him like a celebrity and in his mind he wondered what he saw in him except for his black face. Lost in his thoughts, Cha Woo Jin did not notice that he was being asked to answer. Kang Shin Hyuk, on the other hand, saw Cha Woo Jin looking at him and thought how cute he was when he blushed and how many times he had seen him blush, which was confusing. As images of that first night flashed through his mind, he thought it was dangerous and put his foot down. It turned out that this was just Kang Shin Hyuk's sick fantasy, and he got very drunk while fantasizing about it. While Cha Woo Jin was sleeping sweetly in his bed, unaware of what was happening in the bed next to him, Kang Shin Hyuk's thoughts were only on him. If he knew about his fantasy he would never talk to him. He had to stop thinking about it because he hadn't told Cha Woo Jin a word about it. But then an even more horrifying thought came to his mind. Why was Cha Woo Jin crying after that night? He stayed up all night thinking about it and couldn't calm down. And the next morning he wondered why Cha Woo Jin was crying. He seemed to be enjoying himself, maybe he was really crying because it was his first time, but Kang Shin Hyuk thought that was unlikely. On the way to class, Cha Woo Jin noticed that something was wrong with his friend, so he asked him directly what was wrong and why he was in the clouds. But of course he got no answer, so he said goodbye and went the other way. Sitting in class, Kang Shin Hyuk didn't think about class at all, but continued to think about the reason for Cha Woo Jin's tears that night. Kang Shin Hyuk's friend woke up yawning without expecting a question from the person sitting next to him. But he asked if he was sad when his first time happened. The sad friend sadly replied that he hadn't had his first time yet and not everyone was as playful as Kang Shin Hyuk. When Kang Shin Hyuk left the office, he thought that Cha Woo Jin should have quit by now and maybe he should call him. And he started to check his location when suddenly someone's hand covered his phone. It was his girlfriend whom he had promised to have lunch with and they went to the dining room together. After lunch, Shin Hyuk went to the studio and heard heavy yelling. The boss was getting angry that they were not getting anything done and all the teams were being punished for it. He was just about to divide the work between them. He saw his partner about to leave and tried to stop her but to no avail. Seeing that Jin was in trouble, Shin Hyuk rushed to help and said that he would help with the questionnaires in exchange for Wu Jin answering one of his questions. Wu Jin quickly finished his work and thanked Shin Hyuk for his help, saying that he could hardly do it alone and that he was ready to answer the questions. But Shin Hyuk said that it would be better to talk in their room. When Shin Hyuk arrived in the room, he immediately asked Jin the question that had been bothering him, why he had cried after their first time together. Wu Jin choked on his juice at this unexpected question, and he resisted, reminding Shin Hyuk that they had promised each other not to bring up the topic again, but he promised to answer any question he had. Wu Jin, offended that Shin Hyuk did not help him out of the goodness of his heart, yelled at him for asking this question, but he only admitted that it was true and said that he did not want to ask the question directly. Shin Hyuk asked him why he asked such a question since they had forgotten everything and were just friends and waited for his answer. Shin Hyuk said that they both enjoyed it and he didn't realize that it was so bad that Wu Jin even started to cry. An embarrassed Wu Jin jumped out of bed and said that he did not want his first time to be like that, drunk and with someone he did not know. At this point, Shin Hyuk decided to remind him of his own words that he would behave helplessly and lewdly, to which he shut him up because he was just fantasizing and didn't think it would really happen. Why fantasize when you can just do it? Shin Hyuk replied that he didn't understand, but the sad Wu Jin couldn't even imagine that he would actually sleep with someone in Europe, saying that he was weak in spirit and incapable of such actions. He wanted to have deep feelings with someone close to him for the first time, and then Wu Jin decided to answer the question directly. He cried because he was sorry for getting drunk and ashamed that he was not like his swords for the first time. He just wanted his first night to be different from Shin Hayek's stories about not even remembering his first time, 
Wu Jin asked if he really didn't remember anything. But Shin Hayek really didn't remember much about that moment in his life. Shin Hayek decided to ask what Wu Jin wanted to do next. Because time cannot be rewound. What is done is done. Wu Jin said that he should move on and meet someone he likes. Why is Shin Hayek so interested in that? And why is he interested in Jin at all? Looking at Wu Jin, a thought came to Shin Hayek's mind and he decided to say it. He told Wu Jin that he wanted to sleep with him again and yelled at the whole dorm. And why did he suddenly decide to say that? Shin Hayek had been thinking about Wu Jin all the time and now he finally understood why. When Wu Jin asked if he was willing to spend the night with Shin Hyok, Wu Jin revealed that he would spend the night with his future boyfriend, which was followed by Shin Hyok asking if he wanted to be his boyfriend. Wu Jin yelled that Shin Hyok wasn't even gay, so why would he want to be, and threw a bottle at his head. And that was the end of their dialogue. Wu Jin began to avoid Shin Hayek again that night, and he was not happy about it, thinking that he had crossed the line, and he was tormented by doubts because he had not intended to force Wu Jin to do anything, even though he had hit him anyway. For the first time, Shin Hayek felt rejected. He would have to be alone again, and this loneliness would eat him up from within, standing in front of the door, afraid to go in without seeing anyone inside. But after gathering his thoughts, he turned the doorknob and saw Wu Jin sitting on a chair, thinking Wu Jin would avoid him. But he's here, next to him, unable to contain the emotions inside. He rushed to hug Wu Jin. Shin Hyok was so moved that he squeezed the boy so hard that the chair toppled over and they fell. As a result, Jin hurt his wrist. Sitting at the table with Ol Hyun, he was worried and didn't know what to do now. Maybe he should forget and move on. But what if Shin Hyok was serious about his relationship with Wu Jin? But his thoughts were interrupted when his friend said that it was unlikely that he was serious about a relationship with him and that he was probably just playing around and that he had confessed to Ol Hyun himself. 